Welcome to day 21 of the 100 Day Project. Today happens to be the 402nd anniversary of William Shakespeare's death. Uh, so to celebrate, it, celebrate, I wanted to write a sonnet. But it turns out that writing a sonnet is really hard. Uh, you have to follow a set structure uh, and a set rhyme scheme. Uh, you also have to make the sonnet have like a unified theme. It has to make sense. Uh, it has to be written in iambic pentameter. Uh, so an iam is a stressed or an unstressed sil syllable followed by a stress. So like da dum. Uh, you do that ten times. Da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum, and you have iambic pentameter. Um, so today this afternoon I played with words and language for a few hours and I wrote four lines. So I am going to keep tinkering with this until I have it right and then I will present my sonnet to you. But I'm not going to leave you high and dry. I have written uh, a couple years back I co-authored um, a poem. Um, it's called The Bard and it's my tribute to William Shakespeare. So all, most of the lines contained within this poem are Shakespeare or from Shakespeare's plays, and I've added a, a little bit of filler. So here we go. A toast to William Shakespeare. The Bard. There are those that achieve greatness. There are those that have greatness thrust upon them. But there are only a few who are born great. So in the spring of our discontent, let me introduce you to the Bard of Avon. He is the stuff that dreams are made on. The whole world is his stage, and his music be the food of love for us to play on. He snatched us out of the jaws of death of poor rhyme. He is and was the greatest writer of all time. You might have heard it said that men of few words are the best men. Well, Shakespeare only wrote that to silence those lesser than him. Love me or hate me, for both are in my favor, tis neither here nor there. If you love me, I'll always be in your heart, and if you hate me, I'll always be in your mind, cause you know, all the all's well that ends well. The question for him was not to be or not to be, for to not be was an impossibility. Time sighed and never got, never got a hold of him. Will our minutes hasten to the end and lead the way to dusty death? Shakespeare's immortal verse stands the test of time, and in that way he will never die. He reminds us that all that glitters is not gold, and that we know not what we are made to be, for our destiny is not laid in the stars, but in ourselves. There is tide in the affairs of men, and to not be swept away by them. And that when love speaks, the voice of all gods make her, makes heaven drowsy with the symphony. So be not out of love, but in, for this master of comedy, tragedy, and verse, William Shakespeare, if thou dost love, pronounce and under the name faithfully. So good day to you all, and give me your hand if we be friends. And with that, our revels now must end. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow for day 22. Cheers.